Hello there, my name is Ajiboy Isaac and this is explanation to the given class work. So um, in the class work you were asked to resolve a complex fraction into its partial fraction and uh, previously we had discussed the different formats on how to resolve complex fraction into simple partial fractions. We mentioned that there is a case where you have linear factors as denominator and there is also a case where you have repeated linear factor as denominator. And then when we, we said if you have a linear factor as denominator, you would then need to introduce constants as numerator of the supposed simple partial fraction and then you would then separate the linear factors as the denominators of the supposed simple linear simple partial fraction Okay, so this example, or this question, 1 over open bracket x minus 2 close bracket, open bracket x plus 4 close bracket into its partial fraction. Therefore, it will become a over 1 of the linear factor, which is x minus 2, plus b over the other linear factor which is x plus 4. When you multiply both sides by the LCM which is the denominator of the complex fraction, the, you would then have 1 equal to a open bracket x plus 4 close bracket plus b open bracket x minus 2 close bracket so if you open the bracket you have 1 equals to ax plus 4a plus bx minus 2b and then we collect like terms bring all the x terms to one side and the constants to one side so if we bring all the x terms to one side and then we bring out x we factorize it we have 1 equals to x open bracket a plus b and close the bracket plus 4a minus 2b so at this junction what we do is to compare coefficients in comparing coefficients you see that there is no x term there is no x term on the left hand side and that simply suggests that the coefficient of the x term in, on the left hand side is zero and that is why it is not appearing it is because the coefficient is zero so when the coefficient is zero it will not appear so the coefficient are zero then that means a plus b which is the coefficient of x on the right hand side will be equals to the coefficient of x on the left hand side which is zero so a plus b is equal to zero also if you look at the constant on the right hand side it is 4a minus 2b and the constant on the left hand side is one therefore 4a minus 2b is equal to 1. So these are now two linear equations having two variables. Therefore, you need to solve them simultaneously. All right, you solve them using simultaneous equation methods. So in this case, I use substitution method that is by making one of the variable subject from the equation 1, a is equal to minus b. So I'll then substitute that in the second equation. If I substitute a equals to minus b, that is anywhere I see a, I put minus b. I will therefore have 4 minus b minus 2b equals to 1 in the second equation. So if I open the bracket, I will have minus 4b minus 2b equals to 1. Minus 4b minus 2b is equal to minus 6b. Then I divide both sides by minus 6. So my B will therefore become minus 1 
over 6. If my b is equal to minus 1 over 6, then I already know that my a is minus b. Therefore, my a will therefore be equal to minus open bracket minus 1 over 6. And that will therefore give me 1 over 6. So my a is 1 over 6 and my b is minus 1 over 6. If we substitute this into the expression we started with, that is 1 over x minus 2, open bracket and close, then open bracket x plus 4, close bracket, open and close bracket, will be equals to, our a is 1 over 6, so we are substituting 1 over 6 as a, it will become 1 over 6 x minus 2, minus, put minus 1 over 6 as b, and that will give us minus 1 over 6, open bracket, x plus 4. Resolve into partial fraction 4x minus 1 over 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. The first thing to do here is to see if you can factorize the denominator. And obviously we can. So we factorize the denominator 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. We give you 2x squared plus 4x plus x plus 2. Alright, that's 4x plus x has been replaced with 5x. So if we group and pair, we have 2x squared plus 4x, open bracket and close, plus open bracket x plus 2, open bracket and close. Therefore, if you factorize all this common other bracket, we have uh, 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 to become open bracket 2x plus 1, close bracket, open bracket x plus 2, close bracket. So we can now rewrite our complex fraction 4x minus 1 over 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 to be equal to 4x minus 1 over open bracket 2x plus 1 close bracket open bracket x plus 2 close bracket. So in resolving into linear factor, you see that what we have there is a case of repeated or is a case of linear factor as denominators. So that means we therefore introduce constants as numerator. So that becomes a over 2x plus 1 plus b over x plus 2. So if we cross multiply and uh, do all simplification that needed, we would have that 4x minus 1 is equal to a open bracket x plus 2 close bracket plus b open bracket 2x plus 1 close bracket. Therefore, if you open the bracket, 4x minus 1 will be equal to ax plus 2a plus 2bx plus b. And if we call it like terms, 4x minus 1 will be equal to x open bracket a plus 2b close bracket plus 2a plus b. Then the next thing to do is to compare coefficient. In, the co in comparing the coefficient, the coefficient of x on the left hand side is 4. So that our 4 is equal to a plus 2b. And the coefficient of, con I mean the constant rather, on the left hand side is minus 1. So we have minus 1 to be equal to 2a plus b. These are now two linear equations with two variables. So we solve them simultaneously. Alright, so that means we can make b subject from the second equation of minus 1 equals to 2a plus b. We make b subject then my b will be equal to minus 1 minus 2a, just simply by taking the 2a to the other side. All right? So our 4 will now be equal to a plus, that is anywhere we see b now, we replace b with minus 1 minus 2a. So our 4 will now be equal to a plus 2, open bracket, minus 1 minus 2a, close the bracket. Then if you open the bracket and simplify a minus 2a, a minus 2 minus 4a is now equals to 4. A minus 4a will give us minus 3a. Then we take the minus 2 to the other side becomes plus 2. So we have minus 3a equals to 4 plus 2 which is equal to 6. So we have minus 3a equals to 6. So if we make a subject, then we divide both sides by minus 3. So that our a will now be equals to minus 6 over 3. And that is equal to minus 2. 
since our a is minus 2 and we know that our b is equal to minus 1 minus 2a so that means anyway we see a we we'll put minus 2 so therefore our b will be equal to minus 1 minus 2 open bracket minus 2 and that will be minus 1 plus 4 which will give us plus 3 so in replacing a and b in the equation we started with in the simplification we have 4x minus 1 over 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 to be equal to minus 2 over 2x plus 1 plus 3 over x plus 2. So the simply partial fractions of the complex fraction 4x minus 1 over 2x squared plus 5x plus 2 will now be equal to minus 2 over 2x plus 1 plus 3 over x plus 2. I hope you understand. If there is any question you can ask, if there's any part that is still not clear, you can ask me. All right? Thank you.